Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is all about the back and bicep guys. This is a complete new routine that I want to share with you guys that demolish my back that I felt that really truly worked for me. If you really want to build the illusion of a smaller waist, then you really need to build everything else. Now, of course, this process does take time. So remember guys, have patience with this process. Have patience with yourself. I love working on bicep and back. My two favorite groups. I've noticed crazy changes with my back. I've noticed that it has actually gotten more defined, more, I feel it getting stronger. And this can honestly be because I'm incorporating my back a lot more than I used to. I built my back, I built the strength, and now I am using it for deadlifting and squats. And I've noticed tremendous difference when it came to squatting and deadlifting. While we're chit-chatting, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another workout video with me again. Guys, I'm constantly posting workout videos. If it's not here, if it's on my Instagram, if you guys haven't followed my Instagram yet, go over there. Follow my Instagram, that's where I'm at 24 seven. That's where I engage with you guys. That's where I engage with my followers. I post pictures, workouts, a lot of informational stuff. So head on over there if you want to see more of just basically my personal life. All right, guys, so first of all, we're gonna be doing close grip lat pull down. So I kind of just changed the actual bar that we're using. I'm doing the V grip bar. This workout right here is mainly gonna emphasis on that middle back. So you have your lats, right? I must like put like a photo here somewhere. You have your lats, then you have that middle section of your back. And this, my friends, is beautiful. Beautiful for your back. I think I have more strength on my middle back than my lats which I have to fix that. I absolutely love doing this workout. You feel the tension on your middle back and it hurts a lot, but it is amazing. It's really good. I'm telling you guys right now. With the close grip lat pull down guys, we're gonna be doing four sets to 10 to 12 reps, really depending on what weight you're doing. All right guys, so the next workout is gonna be a sort of superset, but not really, but kind of like a superset. So we're gonna be doing bent over rows. We're gonna be using the actual the barbell. I want you guys to have a bent over stance here. Really focus on engaging your lats. Keep your elbows straight and pinch to your sides. Make sure to have a strong core. Strong core, ego, stronger back. So all I'm saying. So guys, after the bent over underhand row, what we're gonna be super sending is bent over overhand rows. So guys, this overhand works strictly on the upper back. Since we can't put our elbows strictly and pinch to our sides, I want you guys to like really focus on bringing that barbell up to your girls. Focus on bringing that weight up and squeeze at the top. You're gonna feel that contraction, you're gonna feel that burn, and it's going to be amazing. I want you to do three sets of 10 reps. After that, guys, we're gonna be doing some biceps. Um, we're gonna be doing some 21s. 21s are amazing workouts to do for your bicep. It could be a starter or it could be a finisher. So guys, remember for 21s, you wanna keep your core straight, your back straight. You wanna do seven reps from the bottom all the way to middle. Seven reps from the top all the way to the middle. And then seven normal reps of just normal bicep curls. For 21, guys, I want you to do this two to three times, it really depends on how you feel. I think I did three sets, they were killer. My biceps were feeding it. So if you guys can only do two and you're giving up at two, stop at two just because we do have other workouts that we need to do. After that, we're gonna be heading over to the machine. We're gonna be using the bicep curl machine, your typical machine that everyone loves to do. So guys, I want you to really focus on your biceps here. I want you guys to do three sets of 10 on this workout. Have that mind to muscle connection on your biceps. So as you bring the machine up, Make sure that you squeeze through that peak right there. We actually have a superset coming up and it's a superset of biceps. We're just going from bicep to bicep to bicep to bicep workouts. This is absolutely the last workout that we're gonna do for biceps just because we did it four times straight in a row. So what we're gonna be doing is hammer curls and supersetting that with one and a half bicep curl. So hammer curls is a staple with the hammer curls. We're just bringing the weight straight up. Remember guys to have your elbows pinched to the side. Do not move them whatsoever. Make sure to have that full range. Bring the weight all the way down and then all the way back up. What really helps me is squeezing my tricep as I'm bringing the weight down. This has helped me and my conscious and my mind to know that, okay, I just did one full rep and range of bicep curls. Bicep curls or hammer curls. So with the one and a half bicep curl guys, it's not tricky as long as you know and you practice at least the movement prior. You're gonna be performing one wide bicep curl and as you're bringing the weight halfway down, I want you to bring it back up, squeeze your biceps, and then go all the way down. That is one 
full wrap. I highly recommend choosing a lighter weight for this because you're gonna be feeling it. Your biceps will burn here. All right guys, so the last superstar we're gonna be working on are real delts. I always like to include real delts into my back workouts just because it is the back. Typically people like to include their real delts within shoulder days, but I'm different. <laughs> I like to include them in my back days just because it's so easier to work on them. What we're gonna be doing are machine real delt rows. You wanna set up the machine where you feel like you could actually reach the handles and pull the handles closer to your body. You really wanna focus on your real delts here, nothing else. You're gonna see how my real delts are popping and that's honestly because I've been working on my real delts for such a long time. It's a work in progress. I've neglected them for such a long time and it was my biggest mistake. I ever did it. I stopped neglecting them, I started working on it, and I'm so happy I did. It's been a year and counting, and we're getting, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere, so that's what's good. We're gonna be super setting that with some bent over row dip rows, so you're actually going to get a barbell, and you're actually going to have that bent over stance. You're going to basically do what we did for the underhand, but instead of working on the upper back, we're going to be working and focusing on solely our real dunks. We're done with this workout. Whoa. <laughs> Who else doesn't love a good back day? You know, a back day is just something so staple. You have to include a back day into your workout because why not? Why not? I used to never love upper body days. Upper body days have really grown to me. And I think the two muscle groups that have really grown to me a lot are back and shoulders. Those two are chef kiss, the best of the best. And I'm so happy that I've grown to love them just as much as I love to work out legs. So legs has been my go-to, my go-to girl, but bicep and shoulders are like, hey girl, they're creeping up. They are creeping up behind leg day. There's some competition going on right now, guys. I'm just letting you know, there's some competition. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give this workout a try. Remember guys, I leave all the workouts down in the description box so you could just take a screenshot, take it with you to the gym and hit yourself a nice workout. It's just that easy. It's that easy to get a good workout in, guys. You don't need a personal trainer or create your workout when you have me leaving the workouts in the description box. Trust me, guys, this is a good one. You're gonna thank me later. All right, guys, so again, I hope you liked this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another workout with me again. I'll definitely see you soon. Bye.